What's going on guys? Maximus Batson, a regular guy coming at you here with finally another new video. I know it's been a while since I put out a video, but you know, I was waiting for the perfect moment. And this moment was San Diego Comic-Con. There was a lot of Funko Pops that came out, Dorbs, Rock Candy. It was insane, it was crazy. A lot of people on the website, you would go on there to try to get something, it was gone in like 20 seconds. It was, it was crazy, it was, it was unbelievable, but I went to go get the ones that I really wanted from the San Diego Comic Con exclusives at the stores, GameStop, um, what else? GameStop, Hot Topic, and uh, Target. I did get one from Target. So uh, we'll start off with the Funko Pops right now. We'll start off with the first one in this franchise. I've liked it for a while. You've seen a couple of them. I think I put them on video already. And they're from uh, Five Nights at Freddy. And I did want to get both of them from the sister location. Let me grab a little right here. I wanted to grab both of them because they look cool and I do want to collect the whole sister location um, line when they come out, you know, because the Funtime Freddy looks cool and they all look cool. The Laura looks cool. So I wanted to get this and the first one I'm going to show you is a 2017, you already know, Funko, San Diego Comic Con exclusive and this is a, uh, this one's from Walmart and this is a uh, Jump Scare Baby. So she looks super cool, uh, kind of creepy, you know, the face looks super creepy, uh, but uh, Really a lot of detail in the whole robotics part of the face as the robot from the sister location. She looks very, very awesome. Uh, I can't wait to get the, the common one. She looks cute. I like the way she looks. So that's the first one. And then the next one, this one was from Hot Topic. It's crazy because I actually left work to get this one during my lunchtime. Because I was like, I need to get it. And you know, um, I, just, I just had to get it. So, and this one is... Uh, Jump Scare Funtime Foxy. So this one also has a lot of detail. Super, super cool. Um, I like it a lot. The whole detail of these are cool. That's like, you know, I'm glad Funko changed it up a little bit and, um, you know, showed a little bit more of the talent instead of just Batman all the time. And I remember that. I just said Batman. So there you go. Jump Scare Funtime Foxy. So that's another one. So the next one that I'm going to show you, I didn't mention this location, but this was actually from uh, Walgreens. And Walgreens only had two. And the one that I really wanted, I'll show you next, but the first one, I, I didn't want to get this one, but I was like, you know why not? I, um, I really don't have a lot of these. I don't, th I don't think I have any of these. I think this is my first one, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is my second one. But I saw it and I was like, you know what? Just get it, dude. And you know what? The dude got it. So I got this one. This one's uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con and this is Captain America. I think this is actually um, Bucky. This is actually Bucky. Correct me in the comment section below. But I, I'm most likely it's Bucky. That's what I heard. So this is the Bucky um, Captain America. Super cool. This is actually a like Walgreens exclusive. These are like I said. These were the easy ones to find. Uh, this one I got it on the website and it came actually in pretty good condition. Um, the next one I'm gonna show you. This one is the one that I really wanted when I saw the whole lineup for the San Diego Comic Con Funko Pops that are gonna come out. I had to get this one because this one was super cool. I liked it a lot and I love comic books and. I had to get the red She-Hulk. She looks cool. I know you're gonna say, well, she looks like the other, the green She-Hulk just with uh, red paint and black paint. But hey, that's what you do with Batman too. So uh, I liked it a lot. I like the whole detail. It looks cool. She looks like the comic book. So I had to get this one. So now I'm gonna move on to uh, another uh, series that, that I started. Uh, this was actually from a Netflix, uh, Netflix series. And uh, this was from Stranger Things. Uh, I love that show. I think that, that show is amazing. I think it's one of the best shows on Netflix right now. If you're one of those people that hasn't seen it, I, I strongly recommend you watch Stranger Things season one because season two is coming in October. I cannot wait. Uh, um, I love that show. It's an awesome show. Eleven is my favorite. I love her. I think she's awesome. Awesome, awesome character in the show. But enough about that. We're gonna go with the Stranger Things San Diego Comic Con exclusive that I got. And I really wanted this one because this one had a lot of detail, especially from one of the episodes from the show. And this is uh, Mr. Clark. And this is when he's talking to the kids about the upside down. I don't know if you guys see it right there. He has the plate. He actually has the plate with the little figures that he drew. I don't know if you remember that from first, uh, the season one. Uh, super awesome. That's the only reason I wanted to get it because it had that detail on the plate that he, he was talking to the kids about the upside down. So uh, awesome, awesome Mr. Clark. I liked it a lot. And then the next one was a character that I really didn't like in the show in the beginning. But then once he got um, he got crazy with the Demogorgon, I think that's how you say it. Uh, I was like, dude, this was cool. Uh, and, and this one's cool because he actually comes with the bat and everything. This is Steve, um, the boyfriend. I forgot the boyfriend of the, the name of the girl. 
remind me in the comment section below. But yeah, this one is super cool. He has a lot of these. He has the little spikes on the on the on the bat and everything. He has the blood and everything. Super super awesome Funko Pop. I really like this one. Now I'm gonna show you one that I wasn't expecting to get, and this one was weird because I actually went to Target it to uh, look for Funko Pops, and not San Diego Comic Con. I was just looking for Funko Pops, and I saw this one at the electronic section on the counter, and I looked at it and I was like, whoa, what's going on? This is totally different, but this is the uh, actual the Batman. I wasn't gonna get this one, but I always get one from San Diego Comic Con exclusives. I always get one, and this one actually doesn't have the San Diego Comic Con exclusive sticker on there, so I don't know what happened if they took it off or what the what, what the case may be. But I actually got into Planetary Batman, and when I saw it when that was gonna come out, I wasn't interested in it, but it is super cool. It has a lot of detail, and I really like this one, and and it doesn't have the sticker. So I don't know what the deal was with this one. I still grabbed it, it was the same price. So I don't know if they actually took it. The box was a little bit beat up and I think somebody had it shipped there. But I, I, you don't see any residue from the sticker though. There is no residue from the sticker on there. So I'm kind of confused of what it is. If you guys know, leave me in the comment section below. If you guys got something like this without the sticker, let me know as well. Because I, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened to this one. So now we're gonna move to the last one of the San Diego Comic Con exclusives. And uh, this one actually was a pain to get because I actually had to drive three hours, three and a half hours just to get this one. I know it sounds crazy. Uh, I know it sounds like I'm, I'm out of control, I'm nuts. But I had nothing else to do that day and I was like, why not go get it? And I actually reserved it online at GameStop and I was like, I, I reserved it, I got the email confirmation. And that's Once I got the email confirmation, I was like, it's over. About to go get this one. So I actually got the Negatron San Diego Comic Con exclusive from Darkwing Duck. And this one is actually pretty cool. I heard a lot of mixed reviews about it just because it's just black and white, but I liked it that it glows in the dark. So yeah, I actually drove a long way and I told the guy, I was like, dude, I drove this far from it. He's like, where are you coming from? And I told him, he's like, man, that's crazy. And it was just to get a Funko Pop. But at least I drove to get the Funko Pop and I paid retail and I didn't play, I think it's, I think it costs uh, 30 bucks right now on, um, Pop price guide if I'm not mistaken or 25 something like that so very happy with the San Diego Comic Con collection that I got I, uh, I thought it was a good year I think I got more than last year because last year I really didn't pay a lot of attention to it but this year I grabbed the ones that I wanted and uh, I missed out on the scare glow I really wanted that one I was in, actually uh, the, the story was that I left early uh, to get to games I mean uh, Barnes & Noble to get in I was actually in line waiting for this thing and uh, they started saying that two per customer per Funko Pop. So, you know, you could have gotten two of the Lorax and uh, two of the, uh, of the, I think it was uh, uh, Harry Potters and the two of the Ticks. And, and the Tick and the Scare Glow were the most uh, ones that were sought for because a lot of people were getting them. And I was like, maybe like three, four people away from, the, from getting to the door to Barnes and Noble and they ran out. I was so pissed off. I was mad. I even told the lady that behind me because she was. I was like, if I if I buy it, I'll give you the poster because they were giving out the poster for Funko Pops too. I think it's Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. I didn't want it. I was like, if I buy something, if I get my pop, I'll give you the poster. I didn't want it, but I I, I was so pissed off or, and angry that I just I didn't get none of them. I could have gotten the Lorax. I could have gotten Harry Potter. I could have gotten the Game of Thrones two pack. But you know what? I only get what I like and the ones that I want. And I really wanted the Scareglow, Scareglow from Masters of the Universe. And I was super upset, but you know that's that's the game. Some people, you know, I know there was I know there was scalpers out there. I know there was and flippers out there as well. And uh, you know that's what you get for not going early, and that's what I get. So there you go. Sorry for the long story about my scare glow fail, but I uh, hope you guys like the Funko Pops. If you guys got San Diego Comic Con exclusive Funko Pops, let me know which ones you got. Let me know which ones you like, which ones you didn't like, which ones were right the time. Always remember, never forget. Keep it classy as always. Take care of each other, love each other. And before I sign out, I want to give a big shout out to one of my uh, subscribers, uh, Sith Lord. Always, always showing a lot of support, just like everybody else. But he always goes the extra mile to show me support. Hey, brother, here's the video. Like I told you, hope you enjoy it. And I hope everybody likes it. You already know, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and uh, show me some love. And once again, Maximus Bass and the regular guy. And until next time, I shall see you later. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, I thought I was done, and I totally forgot about this awesome, awesome Funko Pop as well. I don't know how I could forget about it. I'm a Nimrod. 
and this is a different style so I'm gonna shoot it like this so you don't have to see my ugly face anymore so this is a little uh, Okami that I got from Fantastic Beasts I think it looks super awesome this one was actually from Hot Topic turn around for you right there that's a face I think it looks super cool uh, unique unique Funko Pop but here's the back so you can see the rest of the Funko Pops from the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them from the movie so yeah I can't believe I forgot this one guys I really do apologize but there you go it's the Okami from Hot Topic, San Diego Comic Con. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Always remember, never forget, keep it classy as always. So next time, I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah!